We will believe in this freedom can supervision series for trainers. How do you see it unfolding? We believe in freedom. I see it unfolding as a series of conversations um, and um, interactions that are neither just question and answer but more exploration where everybody learns together. I mean, you and I have a great deal of experience training. I mean, I'm a classically trained teacher anyway. I've been doing this all, all my working life. But actually, when you train in EFT um, or in other such modality and you train adults and not children uh, anymore uh, either, uh, it's a whole different thing. And it is much more of a collaborative endeavor as well as imparting knowledge, imparting tips, techniques, and supervising exercises. So when it gets to supervision, it really is. How is it in the field? What's yeah. it for you? For me, it was vital, Martine. And I have to say, our years of monthly, sometimes weekly supervision has what pushed my training, my level of understanding to a whole different place. And without that supervision, not as a practitioner, but as a trainer, it made me rethink, oh, why did I do that? Why didn't I try this? Am I really listening to what is happening? How do I teach something I practice? And how do I replicate that? You know, we really hashed out so many of these issues and we could write a few books, not one, a lot. And <laughs> it would be amazing to share this wealth that we have brought together to whoever is wanting to be a trainer of excellence. Oh. Sometimes it's not just about sharing knowledge. Sometimes it's about uh, together discovering next steps and trialing things as well and you know handing it back to the person you're supervising and asking them well, what what resonates what's it like for you because i always tell all of my trainees you know that i don't turn them into clones of me and what may work for me and play to my strengths or my preferences may not be what their strengths or their preferences are actually yes the greatest trainer is the student so, yeah, you know, what works for them and deepen uh, and explore what works for them and also be open to blind spots, you know, just like, you know, we have had many an aha moment in our conversations yes. where actually some of it went back to some work that we had to do on ourselves, maybe, yes. in order to free that space yeah. for the greater comfort the, or the challenge to the student or the support to the student. There is a place for sharing stories, you know, stories from our own practice, stories from our own training. God, did I learn some, you know, how not to say something, how to reduce triggering, how to approach something in a way that was uh, more, more, um, that was safer actually because exercises and um demos are not full sessions absolutely. the context is completely different absolutely and it's one thing to give a session another thing to train someone in how to give sessions i mean it's a whole different world i know for myself having been a fine arts lecturer being an artist is one thing but then being with someone and saying you can be an artist too it's a whole different world and but that's where the magic is that is where the magic is there's also that that's where the unknown is as well to a degree because you are working with another you know and there's no assumption yeah. uh, as to what their strength and it's about nurturing their strength I think yeah, it would be a very interesting exercise in excellence ethical training and training that inspires we and collaborative discovery absolutely, absolutely. thanks martine you're welcome <laughs>